Keep you company on my first day. Look, that's your job, isn't it? I've got mine down the market. It's my day off. All right? Slimy key. <laughs> All right. I am, but will you be? <laughs> Um, I want to explain. We made a deal. I want that list tonight. I can't get it. Tonight, I'll be at the centre, 7 o'clock. from where you stand belongs to me, it is my love. You like poetry, do you, Jimmy? Oh, definitely. Oh, yes, the verbal arts. We're standing here, the sky is blue, there's no one else, just me and you. I'm pleased to say you took the job, it's not hard work and you'll learn a few, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> just rolls off, you know. Very good, Mr. Frobisher. No, no, call me Freddy. Here, come on, I'll show you the hut. Oh, that's the barrier. It's a nice barrier, isn't it? Very nice. Yes, it's a nice hut as well. It's very handy when it rains. Now, be my guest on the seating facility, James. You know, you wouldn't believe this to look at me, but years ago, I was just a tally clerk down on the dock. Nice job. Oh, no. Not for a man of my stature. I wanted more. So when they offered me severance, I said, thank you very kindly, and I went into the fresh food trade. I bought a little van, did the market, and with the rest of the money, I bought a bit of scrap land out there. Well, that's what people see it as anyway. But not me. I've got a vision. And what do you see it as? Oh, that's it. What do I see it as? Here, come on, follow me, sir. Now, what you've got to imagine is a five-storey building with shops and offices, and a hotel at that end, a conference centre with a hall to seat 2,000 people over there, restaurants, squash courts, you name it, we'll have it. You know, I'll turn this whole area into the Venice of London. It'll be like the Colosseum all over again. <laughs> Sounds great. Great. Yeah, it's unbelievable. Yeah, I think that's what I meant. Yeah, well, I'll be straight here as soon as I get planning permission. Well, you ain't got planning permission, then? Oh, I'll get it all right, don't worry. I've already put in an order. I'll take it to the House of Lords if I have to the highest court in the land. But until then, you're running the car park. Right. Right, and as I say, 
half the takings is yours. Only I know roughly what it comes to, so no fiddling while Rome burns, eh, son? Honest Jim, they call me, Governor. Oh, yeah, well, I'm a good judge of character. You'll make quite a bit on the side washing cars and uh, cleaning out my van every night. I'll give you a couple of quid. It all mounts up. Great. Right. <laughs> well, welcome aboard the firm. Duty calls, the soldier goes, he says farewell. He's on his toes. Hello, Alwyn. You've been waiting for Daddy, have you? Pilchard. Right then. Let's have it. Look, I've got to talk to you. I don't want a discussion, just the list. C can't you listen to me? No. Well, I, can't, I can't talk if nobody's listening. Listen to him. <laughs> right, you've got five seconds. Time's up. I, I didn't say anything. Well, don't say I'll never give you the opportunity. All right. You don't want to listen to me? <laughs> You're the one that's going to be out of pocket. Am I? Out. It's the list. It ain't. Now, don't you oh. tell me that you can't get the list or there's something wrong with it, because I've already laid out money preparing for it. And if you're thinking of upping the price, or doing it yourself, then think again. Unless, of course, you want to spend the rest of your life walking around on your knees. It's up to you. Now, what was it you were saying? Here's the list. How many names? About 500. 50 quid. Nice doing business with you, Keith. Himself, didn't he? he? Must have tweeted this and heard it. Um, talking of money, uh, gonna have to get us a drink. It's all working out really nicely. Even a job at the car park helps. A desk and a typewriter, so I can get Mona to address all the letters. And where you come in, is you can be washing the cars and earning some extra dodge while I'm on the barrier. They're making a fault to go and buy the stamps, right? Wrong. What do you mean? Well, you see, I've got this aversion to washing cars, especially when I'm working. You have plenty of time off. Look, it's only a means to an end. Yeah, well, I don't believe in the end. Listen to this, then. Benny Jacobs, po oi, Benny Jacobs, pool merchant, owns this magazine that he sends out to 500 perps, right? Now, Benny gets a tug and goes away. The magazine folds. Benny's cousin just happens to be Slimy Keith, who somehow manages to get his hands on the mailing list. Whoever's holding that mailing list has 500 latex purpose wanting him to send out what they need. Yeah, but what did you know about printing the magazine? Who mentioned anything about printing? We send out a sheet saying the magazine's starting up again, and it's a score for a year's subscription. Then we just take the money and run. If half of the punters apply, it's still 250, 20 quid, isn't it? What happens when they don't get their magazine? Well, I can't see 250 latex pervos screaming out for their money back, can you? God, dear, anyway, we're just going to take the money and run. I'm going to use the uh, car park as an address, aren't I? So what do you reckon? Not a lot. But it's a big earner. Then do it. Right. Only count me out. Fair enough. Just have to rope into someone else, won't I? Question is, who? <laughs> 50p, Gav. You want your car wash? Yes, please. How you doing? Well, I never thought I'd see the day I'd be typing addresses to a load of weirdos and perverts. Good money, though, ain't it, though? I don't know. I ain't seen any yet. You will, you will. Yeah, I've heard that before, I know. But this time it's going to be different. You don't really expect people to send you a load of uncrossed postal orders, do you? I mean, that's definitely suspect. Well, of course it is if you're straight. Look, these people are going bananas because they ain't seen a bit dressed up in rubber for the last six months. That's how long this magazine's been up the road. They're going to be climbing up the trees. I don't do 
getting old, do they? I... Well, how could you do it up a tree? No, I meant... Just concentrate on the addresses. Nick! There. The headlights should plan it. It's all part of the service. You use this car park a lot, do you? No, man. Because uh, I'm always here. I'm the uh, new manager. <sighs> Bring us another can of lager, though. Ain't you got legs? I'm just having a little sit down. That's all you ever do. Yeah, what do you know about archaeology? Well... You can catch it from toilet seats. What's in there? I don't know. I don't have a butcher's. Give us in. 